When he isn't risking his life to save others, J-Town paramedic Jonathan Baker is piercing, stitching, and trimming. I was born to be a paramedic, and being a leathersmith kind of happened by accident. It's a labor of love for the man who taught himself how to make everything from belts, bags, totes, and wallets. I grew from the kitchen table to a spare bedroom, to a studio space, and now to the storefront that we are in right now. This is now Baker's Shop, located at Melwood Art Center. It's called Dead Sled Leather Company, fitting from the hearse parked out front, and it's all things leather. Saturday was the store's grand opening. I do a lot of custom work for firefighters and the first responder community. But everything was almost stripped from Baker last March during what was supposed to be an exciting time in his life. A big positive was we were preparing for the move to this big shop. And then a negative was the stress of the house fire. Fire destroyed most of his home. His fellow firefighters stepping in and helping until he could recently get back on his feet, opening his store just a few weeks ago. It's a family. We take, after, we take care of our own. Uh, when one of us is down, we pick each other up. When one of us has a hobby, we support it. One of his favorite items to make, these fire straps, customized for first responders who use them every shift. So when we're, you know, you're on your knees deep in a fire, you know that radio's gonna work because it's on a radio strap that he made and he knows what it takes and so he makes it that way. When he's not working a 24-hour shift on duty, Baker is here, focusing on every detail in a dream that's now his reality. I'm happy to have the support I've had, and I just hope it keeps going, and I'm willing to ride it as long as I can. 